If you watched our last video of the top 10 worst Conjure hacks, you may remember the Super Conjure X took the top spot. If you didn't watch that yet, uh, sorry, spoiler, uh, go watch it anyway, please. So due to the time constraints, I didn't think it would be feasible to list and discuss all the glitches and problems with this game. So instead, we decided to dedicate an entire video to it. Yep, it's a top 10 list of just the glitches of one game. So you know it must be bad. Without further ado, here's the top 10 most annoying and broken glitches of Super Contra X. Number 11? Again, dude, really. I couldn't even manage to get this list down to only 10. So here's a quick bonus one for you. Each level is broken down to two sections, like a part one and a part two. At the end of each level, there's a stupid floating object up here that lets you know it's the end of the level. Okay, thanks. It doesn't shoot you or do anything, so I wouldn't call it an enemy. Well, you can't shoot it if you want to, and it goes away and you move on. Well, apparently, you have to shoot it. While we were playing level 4, the sewer level, it took me many tries to complete it. So, out of frustration, I just walked past the thing, not thinking anything of it, and thought, I'd, hey, I'd be on level 4 too, right? Well, this happened. With my last life before getting to the checkpoint, I walked to the end of the screen, and then came out the other side of the screen and died. Unbelievable. Number 10. Sticking with level 4 brings you to our next glitch. Now keep in mind, level 4 of the sewer level is one of the hardest and most longest levels of the game. Probably the second hardest level next to the final stage of the game. So you can say that making it all the way to the stage boss is nothing short of a challenge, especially with the rest of the glitches in this game adding to difficulty. So I finally made it to level 4's boss, who granted it wasn't really that hard. Well, as I got the final killing blow, the game crashed. The screen just froze up and wouldn't come back. So naturally, I have to play the entire level all over again and get back to this boss. Because I was so afraid to kill it too quickly with the spread gun, next time I got there, I took my time and tried to kill it slow. Nothing that motivates you in a game like finally beating a tough level just to have a freeze on you and do it all over again. Number 9 As I mentioned in the last video, this game is 8 levels long, with the beginning of each level giving you a password. Level 6 is this moving stage, where if you touch the back of the screen you die, if you walk on one of these upward flaps, you also die. All while the boss is constantly moving forward. So with horrible game control, you may imagine this level is not easy, but it's short, so no big deal. Well, at the end of the level, there is none of those checkpoint things you need to shoot, or any kind of boss. The level just abruptly ends. Next thing you know, you're starting a new level. The problem here is there's no intro screen saying, hey, it's level 7. And worse than that, because I forgot to program the screen, they'll never give you a password for level 7. So if you're playing level 6 and beat it and don't know about this glitch, you'll be off to level 7 with no way of getting the password to start level 7 again if you die. Luckily the password exists online, and it's 5124. This will put you at the first part level 7. But if you didn't know this, sheesh, you have to beat both sections of level 6 and 7 before finally getting a password to level 8. What a mistake. Number 8 Okay, so now on to many of the gameplay slash controller problems and glitches. This one is always fun when it happens, and it actually happens frequently. This will be falling through the floor. Yep, just like the floor is not even there, the character just falls right through it. But next time, it's fine, so the floor does exist, it's just sometimes your character decides to ignore it and plummet to his own death. With the current glitches on this list so far, and the ones yet to come, it's hard enough to play this game properly. But when the character just falls through the floor, well, that just adds to the aggravation. Number 7 this next glitch isn't so much of a glitch as it is just a bad programming mistake. 
It's also hard to see within the gameplay footage, but trust me, this is real. So any good Contra game, as you know, has some running and gunning, maybe some jumping and gunning. Well, the problem with this game lies in that sentence. Jumping and gunning. Because you can't even do that in this game. If you're shooting your gun, as in holding the button down, you cannot jump. I shit you not. You cannot be shooting and jump while shooting. You must first stop shooting, then jump, then continue to shoot. The jump button is virtually unresponsive and has no reaction when you push it. It may not seem like a big deal, but this kind of thing comes naturally when you're playing a game. You're going to lose a few or more lives in the beginning of the game getting used to this and remembering that a simple basic command that you've played in all side-scrolling games you ever played somehow does not apply to this game. Number 6 This glitch here is closely related to the falling through the floor problem, but not exactly the same. You see, the problem here is when your player ducks, he ducks forward right into a landmine or something. No problem. I mean, that makes sense. If you're standing and then went to duck, your body would move forward a little bit. But what I do have a problem with is when you simply turn your body, not actually walking at all, just simply turning your body, and you fall off the ledge backwards as if you were too close. Like, what? Who walks backwards just to turn around? Needless to say, the first few times you make this mistake, it'll piss you off. Just another thing to remember while playing this game. Number 5 So gravity and other physics seem to not apply to this game. I mean, everything falls at exactly a 45 degree angle. I understand momentum and gravity, but who flows down an exactly 45 degree angle like this? It's very odd and this happens with enemies as well as power-up pods. But the real physics to fire, number 5 on this list, is when you move the screen and the power pods and even bullets suddenly speed up. That's right, when you advance the screen, the bullets speed up as well, as if they're going the same speed they would be traveling, plus the speed is what you're moving the screen up. I mean, it might seem like I'm nitpicking here, but the worst thing you can do is run from a bullet because as you move, it would actually speed the bullet up and catch up to you. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Number 4 So another fun thing about Contra games is all the fun weapons, right? being able to try them all out and switch one up if you don't like it. Well, this game does include the usual conch weapons, such as machine gun, laser, this fire, I'll bet it looks stupid, and the spread gun. So what's the problem, you ask? Well, the thing is, once you get a gun, you're stuck with that gun. This game does not allow you to get another weapon if you already have one. Say, for instance, you have the fire gun, right? You don't really like it, and an S comes by. Well, simply shoot down and pick up the S, right? No, it does nothing, and you still keep the fire. It actually gets even weirder than this. One time I was playing alone because Kitty lost all her lives. I know, shocker, right? And a weapon fell. Well, I picked it up and got nothing of course because I already had a weapon and that's how this broken ass game works. Well, eventually I lost all my lives too and we continued. She started with the gun that I picked up when she was dead and then after getting my own game over and continuing, she still started with that gun. Like, what was that? I can't even figure that out. I mean, there's glitches and then there's just weird. Number 3 Now I'm sure you've all heard of games like Super Meat Boy or even Mario, games that require very precise movements and jumping. Well, even a game like this requires no less than perfect jumps. Look at this. If you aren't exactly on a ledge or platform, somehow the guy misses the jump. You can't land the jumps with only one foot on a ledge or even two. Oh no. You have to have his whole entire body past the ledge just to make this jump. Otherwise, he just falls straight through it. This seems like a reoccurring problem in the game, just falling through ledges by different means. First you just fall through them, then when you turn and you fall off the side of them, and now even jumping you can't make it to them. You can put your entire body off the ledge with just your little heel holding you on. But then when you land a jump, it needs to be a half a mile off the ledge of the platform. Why? Number 2 Number 2 on this list is a problem that I'll admit troubles a lot of older games and even some new ones. But this game brings it to a whole new level, of course. That glitch is hit detection. 
I can understand here and there, you know, it looks like it was a little close to the sprite, and it was questionable if it really hit me or not, but no, not in this game. This complaint is broken down to two main problems. The first being the hitbox of your character. Take a look at this clip of me hitting the mines. I'm literally like two feet away from them. In-game measurement, of course. Like, look how far away my guy is, yet still gets hit by this mine. His hitbox must extend halfway past his body. It must just be a huge rectangle. Seriously, look how far away this is. Second is the hit detection of the enemies. There's been numerous times I've shot the gun and it's literally went directly through the enemy. I don't know how this guy survived here. His knees should be blown out and should be crawling along the ground. But no, he's fine. Because my gun just goes right through people. No problem. Okay. Before we get to number one, let's do a quick recap. Actually, let's not. Because there's still so many more problems here with these glitches. So we'll do what you call an honorable mentions, or a bonus round. Why is player one red and player two blue? I mean, every other contra game in the world, it's player one blue and player two red. I mean, if you're gonna copy a contra game, at least do it correctly. When you lose all your lives and continues, you have to input the password again to try the level. Why can't the password simply stay in here so you can continue more quickly? Sometimes when you're playing, your character just randomly gets stuck laying on the ground and you can't get up or even turn around. Great, the password controls, like really? A button moves the cursor to the right, start enters the number, and B button erases it. Like why can't you just use a D-pad to push left or right? Kitty's character just died and her dead corpse stole my weapon. Really? Now dead characters can get weapons? The stairs. Since when can you not walk on the top rung of a stairs? If you can't walk on them, then why are they attached to the platforms? Look at this glitch here. It's called the, I don't know if I just made this jump or died glitch. Number one. Okay, so finally the number one spot. Before I reveal it though, let me ask you a question. What do you think is probably the most important thing to get right, or the most important mechanic of a Contra style game? Give up? Shooting the gun. Yeah, half the time you try and shoot in this game, the gun doesn't even work. Sometimes I literally have to mash the button five or six times before even the first bullet comes out. In the meantime, some guy's on your face and kills you due to this malfunction. I mean, if they're going for a more realistic feel to this game, like, oh, guns jam and break, so on, fine. But no, judging by the rest of this game, they're not going for realism. It's just broke, broken, broken mess. Something as simple and important as shooting a gun doesn't even work well in this game. Well, that's all, folks. Thanks for sticking around for this long, ranty video. We appreciate it. And, as if I need to even say this, don't play this game. Just watch our full-length video instead. <laughs> Thanks again. Have a great night. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see the full video review of any of these games, click up here to the top right to watch our Contra playlist. If you want to see the video about the game in number one spot, click down here to the bottom right. Thanks for watching and have a great day.